In this video, I'm going to look at food chains and two classifications that we can use. A category called autotrophs for living things and a category called heterotrophs. What they are and how we can classify living things into those two categories. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to have to do if we're going to talk about food chains is we need to be looking at a food chain. So let's put one together and we'll start with some grass. Now in food chains we have these different feeding levels or trophic levels. So the grass would be the first feeding level, the first trophic level. Then we bring in this guy here, the snail eats the grass and then this lizard eats the snail, and this kookaburra eats the lizard. Adding in these arrows helps us to show the feeding patterns and the way the food chain works. And so there we have it, our food chain. So as I said, the snail eats the grass, the lizard, here we go, we can add this diagram here showing you, yep, he's pretty hungry there, lizard eating the snail, and then the kookaburra eats the lizard. Yes, kookaburras are carnivorous, so they do eat other animals. And that there is a simple example of a food chain. And in food chains, we have different feeding levels. We call them trophic levels. So we have the first trophic level is the grass in this case. The second trophic level is the snail. The third trophic level is the lizard and the fourth trophic level is the kookaburra in this example. So we call them trophic levels and the other way to think of them is feeding levels. So as well as looking at the trophic levels of a food chain, we can also categorise the different organisms in the food chain in particular ways. For example, the grass down the bottom here, we would categorize the grass as the producers in this food chain or the producer organism. The other three organisms fit into a category which we call consumers. They're called consumers because they're consuming or eating other organisms. These are called producers because they are actually producing the food source for the rest of the food chain. And that's what we're gonna get more into in this lesson. Another name for producers is autotrophs. And another name for consumers is heterotrophs. Let's have a look at what those terms actually mean. So first of all, let's look at autotrophs. Autotrophs were the grass in the food chain that we were just looking at, also called producers. Here's a definition for you. Autotrophs are able to make their own complex organic compounds from simple inorganic substances. I've underlined complex organic compounds in green because complex organic compounds are the food for living things. Most commonly, we're thinking of things like glucose. Glucose is a complex organic compound, and because it's a source of energy, it's the food for living things. So autotrophs are able to make their own complex organic compounds, or their own food, and they make it from simple inorganic substances. Most autotrophs use sunlight in order to carry out that process and they transform that light energy into chemical energy to make complex organic compounds like glucose. Here it is, C6H12O6. Now, the autotrophs that use light energy to produce chemical energy in the form of this glucose molecule, they're called photosynthetic autotrophs. I've circled that word in yellow so that when you think of photosynthetic autotrophs you think of sunlight because that's the key player in carrying out that process. And the process that they use, if you haven't already worked it out, is called photosynthesis. 
Now, if you want some specific information about how photosynthesis converts simple inorganic substances using light energy into complex organic compounds like glucose, you should check out the video called What is Photosynthesis? The other types of organisms that we're going to be looking at are called heterotrophs. Heterotrophs are also the consumers. In the food chain, we were looking at heterotrophs like the snail and the lizard and the kookaburra. Let's look at a definition for a heterotroph. Unlike autotrophs, heterotrophs are not able to make all of their own complex organic compounds from simple inorganic substances. So simply, heterotrophs cannot make all of their own food. And so to get the food or complex organic compounds, they need to consume or eat or take in other living organisms or their products. And that's why we call them consumers. Heterotrophs are consumers because they can't make their own complex organic compounds. They need to eat or take in other organisms or their products to get the complex organic compounds or the glucose or the food that they need. So as I said earlier, one of the major complex organic compounds that living things use as an energy source is glucose and organisms need to be able to break glucose down to release energy to use for their processes. And the two types of processes that can break down glucose to release energy are called aerobic respiration and fermentation. To find out more about those processes, check out the video called What is Aerobic Respiration? And check out the video called What is fermentation. Now just bear in mind today we've talked about consumers or heterotrophs and producers or autotrophs and there is actually a third group that is a very important part of a food chain. We haven't talked about them today but they're called decomposers. If you'd like to find out more about decomposers you can do that by watching a separate video. So that's been our lesson on food chains, looking at autotrophs and heterotrophs. I hope that you found it helpful and thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. In all of my videos, I use information and material from the Biology Levels of Life textbook, workbook and teaching notes. If you want any information on how to get hold of these, just leave a comment below or email me on jeremy.s.lacornu at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe if you want regular updates on my new videos. And as always, thanks so much for your support and positive feedback. I'm really glad that my videos are helping you.